Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is um, this is kind of positive, actually, it's, even with the Five of Swords out here. What I'm seeing is a masculine energy who's ready to make a decision, ready to um, start a new path, a new journey, okay? Recently, they've come into a lot of money. Um, I feel like this person has had, I, they're, they're getting their money straight for sure. And now they, they feel like they can make this decision and start something new, okay? They've got to, well, they feel like they're betraying other people in order to do this, okay? That's how they feel. That I kind of get the feeling like this person is feeling kind of guilty about that. This is something that bothers them, okay? This is something that bothers this person is breaking free of others, you know, you know, when we were first told that we needed to walk away from other people that no longer serve us, you know, it's it's harder to do that than what than what you would normally think. It pulls on your heartstrings. It makes you feel kind of guilty sometimes to walk away from people because you know that they need you. They'll always need you. That kind of thing. Um, or, you know, these are people that have been betraying this person. I don't know. But they're needing to walk away from a group. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's friends. It could be an ex that they're recently breaking up with, right? But I feel like it's just weighing heavy on this person's mind. Is, you know, hurting other people or walking away from others. This person really doesn't want to sabotage anybody else, okay? But they do want their earth angel. They want you. I feel like this is your energy. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer. They could be a Cancer. I feel like this person, as soon as they walk away from other people... They're going to come right to the earth angel, okay? Telling you that they feel like an absolute fool, that they're ready for you now, okay? You could be a cancer or they could be a cancer. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. This could be somebody who comes around the uh, lunar eclipse, and I, I don't know. I, I should check it out and Google it. I keep thinking the lunar eclipse is on the 23rd, but I'm not sure about that. So you may want to Google it and look it up. But yeah, I feel like this person is going to be eclipsing some things out, making a big change, taking a drastic step. This is like making a very um, risky move, okay? Coming towards an earth angel, somebody that they wronged in the past. But they're going to do it, and they're, they're feeling like they're ready for you now. They've got their financial stability back, okay? This is someone who's now very stable in their finances, wanting to, I feel, give you what you deserve, okay? Yeah, they're wanting a new beginning with you. This person could have kept some secrets from you in the past. Um... Yep, I, and I feel like maybe they were, you know, they were secretive in, with you in the past. Like you would ask this person a question and maybe they were very vague in how they answered it. I feel like this person hid a lot from you in the past. Um, they could have put you in a third party. That could have been something that they were hiding at the time. Okay, um, the fact that they had someone else and they were tempted by you, you know. But I feel like this is, a, this is a cycle that you feel like it's over, okay? You've graduated. You've already elevated. You, um, you're very balanced, so you're over this person. You, you've healed from this. You're confident, and you're ready for new things, okay? This person could also be watching you on some platform. You could be on social media. You could have a platform anywhere on the internet doing anything, okay? And they can't take their eyes off of you. They want this new begin. Look, they're watching everything that you put out on the internet. They're watching you very closely, okay? Spying on everything that you're doing. 
So whatever you're posting on the internet, this person is right on top of that. I feel like they're getting notifications every time you post something. Okay? And this is someone from your past who walked away from you, chose someone else, and made you wait. I feel like they made you wait while they had this decision to make. Okay? But now it's time. Now is it's happening, collective. This person's coming towards you just as you're closing out the cycle. Just as you're over this and, and leaving them behind, that's when this person wants to come in. Okay? I feel like, too, with the Six of Swords here, I feel like they really want to heal this with you. They're very burdened. Like, you're going in one direction, they're going in another. Do you see this? And they can't stand it. This is something, too, that they can no longer carry the burdens of, right? They, maybe this is something that this person has been thinking about for a long time, maybe a couple of years or longer. Could be anywhere from, from two months, two years, to, uh, to ten years, okay? So they're ready to drop the burdens, and people are starting to see a change in them. They could be getting some kind of health issue. They could be um, getting like back trouble. They could be losing their zest for life. They're uninterested, I feel, in any any celebrations with anybody um, in their circle. You know, people are watching them, talking about them. Okay, but I feel like they are getting their money. Now that they have their money straight, now they want to come back in towards you. Okay. They're getting ready to drop these burdens. All right. Ooh, that was a lot. This is the one that wants to come out. Yeah, and I feel like they're, they're going to take some action. Here's the thing. When it comes to this person taking action, yeah, look. Ooh, wow, look. Um, when it comes to them taking action towards you, see that the and their burdens, the thing one of the things they're burdened about the most is the fact that they treated you like you were an object. They treated you like you were an option. They played you. Okay, they were in and out of your life. They made you feel and used. This person, they're burdened by the way that they treated you in the past. And But I feel like they have kind of grown up from that, okay? They've gone from player energy, in and out energy, making reckless moves, impulsive moves, to a king of wands, okay? So I feel like they've stepped it up, but then they went further and did some work on themselves in hermit energy. And now they're emerging as the king of pentacles. And I, I feel like, too, maybe... Um, this person, you know, I feel like they've recently broken up with someone. Maybe they need to spend some more time on their own, okay? Because um, they may be, I feel like they're very burdened. They're burdened by the way they were before. Under judgment. What is this? Yeah, this person was very selfish. They were very selfish. They were very impulsive. They made really stupid decisions. They didn't, um, they didn't seem to care about how you felt when they broke your heart, okay? And Spirit is showing them this. This person has learned a lesson. This is what they're thinking about. They're thinking back on how selfish and immature and um, lustful they were, inconsiderate, disrespectful. You know, in and out, playing games, being boastful, bragging, spirit showing them all of this. But this is what you've done, right? Spirit's making this person look at themselves. Okay, these are the things that they're thinking about. Yeah, how they played you, how they were um, egotistical, how they may have even laughed about it. Okay, and then withheld any love. Um, withheld any communication from you. Yeah, this is, the, this is the stuff that they're very burdened by because spirit is reminding them, showing them how they treated you. 
So that, you know, here's the thing. They see that this would be, this would be fair. If you moved on, you would have every reason to move on away from them and not choose them. Okay. Um, because I feel like you have a choice of who you give that very valuable cup to. So you may be closing the cycle out and not choosing this person. Like this could very well be the last person that you want to get back together with because they've done so much wrong to you and never made it right. Spirit showing them that. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And here you, you know what? You gave this person nothing but unconditional love. Are you kidding me? You gave this person nothing but love and you were innocent. You, you didn't deserve to have this person trample all over you. You didn't deserve to have them trample all over your heart and play games with you. This is being innocent and very loving. You brought love and beauty into this person's life. Yeah, you may be feeling like they're not worthy of you. Like you're not going to choose them. Okay, that's for someone, probably a lot of you. I, honestly, I wouldn't want to trust this person again either. You know, I honestly, if all of this was done to me, and I feel like it's been done to all of us, yeah, you're taking that very valuable cup of love and you're walking clear off your spread because you were innocent, this person had no reason it was unprovoked what they did to you but now they're coming back in and i feel like there's something about your intuition you can feel this person's energy wanting to talk you can feel them wanting to work it out with you um you can feel them coming in pretty quickly now okay yeah Page of Wands. They're hearing some things about you too, I feel. Okay, this can be gossip, right? They may be hearing that you're dating other people or dating somebody new. It's got them feeling a little bit stuck. I'm kind of getting the sense that they, they, they gossip about you. Um, maybe they believed some gossip about you or now they're seeing everything from a new perspective what is this page of wands doing here yeah they i this person could have been manipulated they believed some gossip about you you know and it got them stuck look they, they uh, number one this person played you okay they were keeping secrets from you very vague they played you they were selfish they didn't give you the whole truth they breadcrumbed you, okay, because I feel like they were sharing their time with you and with another person, okay? They may have judged you, misjudged you, maybe thought that you weren't worthy, I don't know. They broke your heart, they left you feeling used, they manipulated you, they listened to lies, I feel, and gossip about you, and allowed themselves to believe it without even giving you the benefit of the doubt i mean this person did a lot to ruin this connection and now they're about to communicate with you wanting you wanting you back so yeah i feel like you're taking this stance you're like you know what i'm protecting myself now they stuck this sword in your back straight through your heart and left you there they left you there to hurt and bleed out on your own. And you reached back and you pulled this sword out all by yourself and you healed from that wound, okay? You healed and, um, and you, you became balanced, all right? And, but not, you still have the sword as a souvenir. You still have the sword for when they approach you so that you can remind them what they did to you, okay? You, you still may have some things to say or maybe even some questions for them, an explanation. I feel like you, you want an apology, but at the same time, you're protecting yourself. 
okay because you don't trust this person anymore and you're closing the door on it they're yeah they're missing out on the best thing they ever had they're missing out on a blessing that big couple love okay this person makes me really angry the things that they did to you I gotta say this is making me angry <laughs> can you hear it in my voice um yeah they like completely disrespected you dogged you out and just walked away like you were nothing it makes me really angry okay you maybe I'm feeling that energy off of you okay I could be feeling that energy off of you um, but here's the thing darling that you've completed a cycle here and the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor okay you've got wish fulfillment coming in because you deserve it because you put nothing but but love out there you've done nothing but love other people you know um, it's their loss basically it's their loss because this person lost the ten of cups they lost a beautiful soulmate connection here you know and and what did they gain a whole lot of burdens okay a whole lot of burdens and crying over spilt milk all right now though this person wants wants to come back in they feel like they're ready all right they feel like they're ready um, what else? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and it's all the truth. I feel like they're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to communicate. You, you know, honestly, you may not even want to talk to this person because you're very protective of yourself right now. You know, you don't want this person to ever have the chance to hurt you again. And you, I feel like you want to make that clear. You know? You want them to know they're never going to hurt you again. That's what this is. Heartache and betrayal. This is what they did to you. And this is you protecting yourself with the sword they already put in your back the last time. Yeah. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, maybe Virgo. Yeah, especially considering, you know, they chose someone else over you. I feel like they chose a karmic individual over you, okay? Uh, possibly a Queen of Wands energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They started some competition, third-party situation. So maybe, uh, yeah, maybe they made you take the blame for, for everything that they did to you. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. So after everything that they did, then they tossed you to the wolves and let people rip you apart. I don't think you want any part of this person. Yeah, I really don't think you want to talk to them. And you had nothing to do with this. Like, you didn't do anything wrong. You were innocent here. High Priestess, Six of Cups. This person came in and, came in and out of your life. They, they stepped into your life shook everything up for you, and left you to hold the bag. That's what they did. So, yeah, you're protecting yourself. This person really makes me mad. I don't know if that's my energy or your energy. Sorry about that, Collective. I just, I keep thinking about how angry this person is making me. My battery died. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I feel like this person is coming in to talk, okay? I do. You may even have another someone else in your corner that is fully prepared to defend you if this person comes back in. I don't know why I keep picking up that this is somebody different. This is someone standing in your corner ready to defend you and push this person from your past back away. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that if this other per if this person from your past comes towards you someone's gonna jump in front of you and say get the f out of here okay you've got someone who's about to defend you it could be someone younger than you it could be like a younger brother a younger sister a cousin a friend 
Okay, because they've seen you for years, possibly, in a mental prison over this person. They've seen you mentally and emotionally tormented by this. What was done to you, I'm sorry, what was done to you was sick and twisted. And, and not only that, but this person just kind of left you there in the, in the mud, uh, wondering what was going on. Right? Maybe even wondering if, uh, if it was because of you. It was nothing you did. It was nothing you did. It, this was all them and their foolish decisions. And not caring that how badly it was affecting your life. Oh, this person makes me so mad. You know, but now they're saying they're ready because they have their money right. Okay, they're ready. They feel like they've got their money right. And here's the thing, though. They don't want to hurt anybody else, but it was okay for them to do this to you? Mm. I got to say, you guys, I don't like this person's energy now. You know, coming out in the King of Pentacles, this is a very likable person. And I can see that, yes, they do want to change their, their ways. That I can see. But I don't, I really don't like the fact that you were just dismissed or um, tossed aside like that. Okay, I do not like that. And you know what, I can see you don't like it either. You don't like it either. Um, whether they want to change or not, that's great. Yeehaw, go change, you know. But you don't ever want to be feeling like this ever again in the Eight of Swords energy with the sword in your back. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I just Some of these people just make me so angry. So I feel like um, they do come back around. And they're going to want to talk. Okay, they're going to want to plead their case. They're going to want to tell you that they've thought about all of this and they've learned that they treated you poorly. You're going to get an apology. But I feel like when it comes to this person, um, you taking them back, number one, I feel like you don't want them back after all of this. And number two, there's someone else around you that doesn't want you brokenhearted over them again. Okay. So get ready for this, um, I don't know what you would call it. I would say it's a confrontation. It feels more like a confrontation, okay? Um, get ready for that. And um, man, I'm sorry that they made me so mad. It's just that they put you through way too much.